<laughs> How's it going, bros? My name is. And welcome back to episode two of Wolf of Wall. Fuck. And welcome back to episode two of The Wolf Among Us. All right, I can't wait to see what's up with the freaking what happened. I don't even know. All right, let's guess here before it starts. She used duct tape. Yes, that's it. Wait, what is this? Oh, okay. It's a fake snow. Why does she look so pissed? What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Well, you know. a prisoner like that. I thought you were dead. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? Uh, well, I don't know. I was pretty pissed. I guess. I hope it was worth your time. How are you not dead? How are you not dead? Okay, yeah. You, you're gonna have to explain this because I'm really not getting it yet. Yeah, me neither. After a conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. What the or what the hell? At least to figure out who she is. I should have been there, right? I should have been there, Snow. Yeah. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you or anyone. So I took care of it. I don't trust this man. Yeah, what's happening? Snow? What is it? Are you okay? Are, are you gonna be okay? I mean, uh, with all that's happened. I'll be fine. I just want to get to the bottom of this. But how is she alive? Like... What is it? I just... I feel... Responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. Wait, so it wasn't her? Ah. Oh. Well, it's not your fault. Snow, it's not your fault. But she looked just like me. That can't be a coincidence. Who was just she? We have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. Oh, there we go. Thank you. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? So many mysteries! We keep working. We just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? That's too dangerous. Waiting for big bad wolf to solve all my problems? It's too dangerous out there. Too dangerous? Bigby, I- Yeah, you almost got killed, girl. Come on. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. That's not what I said. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm not yours to lose. Oh, Sass. Ouch. Ouch. My heart just... Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. My little wolf heart. Oh, no. Why did you I say... I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... To what? Know. Me? Myself. <laughs> right. I like his shoes, man. Some good shoes, man. How does he fit in those? I feel like he has tiny feet. Is that a freaking rhino on the wall? Oh yeah, we're down in the basement. So he's so like. <clears throat> All right. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I, I want to be there. Okay, we're back down. Bethkin, in the... Do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. We're gonna talk to everyone here, but we're gonna start with the lamp. I love me some lamps, man. So is that... That... Guy in the... I robbed the lamp, man! Really? Why would you put a lamp? God damn it. Alright, let's talk to these. Alright, you guys have some explaining oh, to do. That's enough. Hey, Amira, vanish! Cancel! Oh. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I thought you had to rhyme to the mirror. Don't even get started with me, Sheriff! What's going on? Yeah. I saw what you did down there. 
Is that how you treat your prisoners? I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to give Tweedledee a good smack after what he put me through. But what you did to him was way over the bloody line. It's fucking Blueberry to punch him, man. Out of me, little boy. He saw everything. Oh yeah, that. Okay, Mr. Toad. No. I want an explanation. And what did you expect to see? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. But I saw something worse, didn't I? That's enough. Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son. But right now, we need to carry on with the investigation. I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. We need to talk to TJ. This ain't over, Big B. TJ. It's all right. Aww. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? <laughs> He's gonna. Bah! <laughs> Sorry. That would be funny, I'm just saying. <coughs> Watch yourself, Big B. If you do anything to hurt me, boy. Why would he do that in it's front okay. of you? I'd obviously kill him when you're not looking. Alright, this won't take this long. This won't take long. Don't worry. Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes. In the river. Oh my god, it's I Clemmy's voice. Anything bad. I promise. Oh my god, it's Clemmy. <laughs> we know you're a good kid, TJ. You're not in you're trouble, in don't trouble. worry. Just I can't be mad at Clemmy. <laughs> I was there, under the big blocks. And I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady. The lady? <laughs> Who the hell was it? It's okay, son. Take your time. Take your time. The lady... fell in. But, but she didn't have her head on. Why does everyone keep losing their I head? Thought, I, I thought she was going to pull me down too. Because <laughs> cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Well, it's my job. Yeah, part of my job is being able to tell when people are lying. I'm really good at it. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I, I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared. And, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you. It's dangerous out there. If someone saw you... He's not in trouble. not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, Stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Did you see who it was? No. <laughs> okay, whose voice was it? Do you know whose voice it was? No. Oh, well, God damn it! Did someone you laughing? Hear anyone laughing? <laughs> Well, you don't know shit, do you? Oh, hey, Pits from the future here. So, the frog part got a little fucked up. I don't know what caused it. It's taken me hours to figure out, and it's just, like, fucking five seconds of lost footage. So, uh, allow me to draw what happens in these five seconds. Frog is like, blah. I'm sad because I saw shit, and, and Wolf is like, yeah, that's okay. And then the girl said, S Snow is like, Oh, he's so good with keys. I wanna fuck he something like that.
Ah, oh, hey, Pits from the future again. God damn it. I'm really sorry, bros. I'll try and get this sorted. But for now, the mirror didn't get us any information at all. He's like, I'm a dick in a mirror. And then I went to Snow White, and Snow White is like, you want to shake the body or what? And I'm like, yeah, well, I guess I got to do that. Then, then we go down in this creepy basement thing where the body was dumped in the well or whatever. And yeah. Wow. I didn't realize I've never seen her face before now. Yeah. This is weird. Yeah. yeah. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. Okay. Let's check the brooch, brooch, or whatever. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. There you go. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. I bet we're gonna see it in that book that it's we looked through. Just like Faith's did. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. If the neck wound was the same, there might be a ribbon in her mouth too. Oh no. Gross. Anything? Gross, man. Nothing. So, it's not exactly the same. Can you close her mouth? Yeah, that looks really awkward, man. He's <laughs> like... Thanks. Alright, finally we shall... She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. <laughs> sad, 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 sad. But I thought we... Do Nick you see that? Could be a bruise. Yeah, it does look like a bruise. Okay, oh, so we can investigate more. Those are claw marks. Oh, rope marks. Oh, rope marks. She was tied up? Damn. They tied cinder blocks to her ankles. So she would sink. Oh. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg, unless... Don't be ridiculous. Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It might be a cheap might glamour? Be a cheap one. Just to get the job done. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Let's look at her fist too. It looks like she's holding something. Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. Check inside. Ah. Oh. Let's leave it alone for now. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder. What? Yeah, why? Oh, mind if I open the coat? No, do you mind if I uh, open her coat? Well, we gotta, we got Big beat. It's just let me do it. <laughs> it's so awkward. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Hey, 
It's not you. It's not you, Snow. It's just a body. Nice panties, by the way. I... Sorry, that uh, took longer than expected. What have you found out? Well, her glamour wasn't perfect. Her glamour's defective. Oh, defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. We should keep going. Seriously, I have to look at that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry at all, actually. <laughs> Are you wearing silk lingerie? <laughs> Why do you want to know? Now, racing. Just trying to see if the clothes are exact. Yeah. They're not. God damn it. <laughs> is that the perfume? Use this. Oh. What is that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. It would seem like it. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. Though witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? Yeah, let's find out. You may be right. One way to find out. Stab him. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? You might want to stand. Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. Oh, it's a puzzle. Yeah, yeah, I love puzzles. All right, let's solve this bitch. Yeah, uh, that looks like a moose, doesn't it? Yep. Okay, and then you go down a little bit more. Thank you, thank you. There we go. That's one sexy moose, man. A deer. <laughs> What does that mean? Oh. That's probably used for the glamour. Is that... It's your hair. Yeah. Some freaking Harry Potter shit, man. Let's look at this. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Who did this, Bigby? Oh shit. Did it return to normal? She's a troll. Oh god damn, that's ugly. How did she fit into those panties? Holy shit. Calm down. All right, you can calm down. It's not like you haven't seen a troll before. Who is she? I haven't. Actually, I saw your mom. Oh. That wasn't there before. Hmm. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. You don't mean that, do you? Oh, snap. Maybe Holly knows. Yeah, maybe that Holly girl. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is what? it? What? It's not Holly. It's... Her sister, Lily. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. I guess you don't do your job at me, Judy. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. How do you know? Are you ra He's racist. He's a racist. He's, we should go. He's a racist. You can't go <laughs> Why not? <laughs> it's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. Uh, it's up to You'd Snow. Be putting her life at risk. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not going to stop her. But we should leave now. You ready? Yeah. She's safe as long as she we me, all right? I hope. All right. It would seem we would have to end this episode here. I want to thank you both for watching. I'm feeling a little better today, thank you, but um, still not 
quite back yet. Um, anyway, thank you both for showing your support in this series. Leave a like if you're excited for the next episode. I really appreciate it. Hit the sky comment below today. I'll see you bros tomorrow with a new episode. Stay awesome. As always, love you bros. <laughs>